Okay, so this is Android 16 on a Raspberry Pi 5. This is Consta Kang's version, and it's got a new update with a proper desktop mode. So if I go back from this and show you what's currently open. So you can see this is the normal Android interface, and we've got files here. And I've also got BBC iPlayer, which I've been playing. So if I click on that, not sure why it's not playing now, but it was playing. It could be to do with this desktop mode, actually, because I don't think the mobile browser usually plays iPlayer. You usually have to use an app. So if I grab this HDMI cable connected to this second monitor and plug it in, we get desktop or mirror. So mirror would be the same on both screens. But if I click on desktop, you can see we get a desktop mode, which is altogether a lot more spaced out. So if we click on the browser, so this brings us back to this iPlayer and it's in like a full browser mode. So you can see I can skip the trailer and it, it starts working straight away, look. So I'm not gonna play any more of it just in case there's any weird copyright type things on it. But um, we have a proper desktop mode as well so we can switch into that. I'm not sure if we have more options here than we would normally have. Yeah, it's not quite as many as Chrome, but there might be more options than we'd normally have. But the font is a lot smaller as well. Uh, so when we show all apps, oh, there's nothing open at the moment. So if we go to files and gallery and web browser and then do all apps, there you go. We get this type and then we can go into the browser from there and we can do a search for BBC Sport and just show how that comes up. And we have these resizable windows. So if you're on a larger display like I am here, I can resize it. It's not so elegant as it is on a full desktop system where it keeps all the information correct while it's resizing, but this is early days. So if we go into files, for instance, I mean, there's nothing on here because this is a fresh install, but you can see that I've got access to it. And they seem to have updated some of the settings modes uh, or just the, the way it looks. So if I go full screen, yeah, it's so much more spaced out. Now I had to enable this setting in developer mode. So if you go to about tablet and you click on the build number, I think it's about seven or eight times and it tells you you're a developer. I've already done that so it says that I'm already a developer. And then if you go to systems you have developer options and there's loads of things in here but the thing you need to enable for this desktop mode and this is thanks to Vasant from Volks PC. Volks PC an app that allows you to run Linux within Android. And I've done a separate video on it, it's very good. They let me know about this new update, which has just come out. So thanks for that. Our window management, here we are. So enable desktop experience. So that's what I put on. So if we go to Consta Kang's page, if you wanna try this out, and it does feel more like a desktop operating system, but this browser is, it's not quite there yet. Uh, so let's just go to Google and Consta Kang Raspberry Pi 5. Yeah, I'm not sure what it's doing there. Why it comes up so small. Yeah, it's not on desktop again. There we go. So if I do Android 16, so pinch to zoom doesn't work. Let's put a different browser on here and I'll use Aptide to install that. I've got a separate video on how to install the Google Play Store into this, but Aptide's just easier. Let's see if it lets us uh, download within the browser because previous versions haven't let us do that it's so weird that it's so small download here ah there we go it is going to let us download from the browser well that's a start right no progress oh we've got progress up here and download complete and we can go into settings and we can allow from this source and install let's open that up so again it comes up as a windowed app i can close the browser and skip that 
And on here, if we do a search for Brave, that's got a good desktop mode on it. Here we go, this one here, and install. And we need to allow that as well. You only need to allow it once, so now it'll install any app from outside without having to click on that. So we go back and back. Where's it gone? Oh, it is installed. Yeah, let's make that the default browser. And let's see if this is more resizable. Guess I might be able to pinch to zoom. Oh yeah, okay, pinch to zoom works. So at least we can we can read it at a decent size. But yeah, I don't know why it's formatting like this. So this is for Pi 5, 500 and Compute Module 5. There are builds for Raspberry Pi 4 as well. And you can see the huge list of things that are working. I mean, Android on Raspberry Pi has been around for a long time. Constacang has always been improving it. And if we look to see what's been updated recently, it's always good to go through the frequently asked questions and also the comments at the end as well. Really useful. And if you're booting this on anything but an SD card, you need to make a change in the config.txt. That's all shown in my Android 16 installation video. So I won't go through all that for the purpose of this. I wanted to show that desktop mode, but basically in config.txt, you need to tell it that you're booting from USB or NVMe. So latest release, 16 QPR2, converted MESA EGL to Apex, update lib camera, update FFmpeg, newer Linux kernel, newer MESA for graphics, and a newer Android security patch. So as always, great work by Constacang. Let's see what game performance is like on this. So if we go back to Aptide. Let's try the Shadow Gun Legends. So install. And I've been looking at the settings. So under display, we've got font size and display size. Make everything bigger or smaller. And yeah, I think we need to do that. Because this is a 1440 monitor. Okay, so the bottom one is changing it on my Android screen. And the top one is changing it on this screen that you're looking at. So I think that's probably about right. Yeah, it's better. So open that up and it crashes straight away. And I've just put it into Android mode and it comes up with a message about Google Play and I haven't got Google Play services. So that's why it's not working because I haven't installed it on this build. So I've installed Real Racing 3. So this always looks so impressive for a mobile game. I'm not sure if you've got sound because I think it's coming through the HDMI, so hopefully I haven't got it too loud if it is there. But yeah, as you can see, games-wise, looking good. Bit of a shortcut. It was very, if, it, if that was sound, it was very forgiving. Yeah, so very nice. So this is what happens if I plug an HDMI cable into the Raspad. You can see straight away we get the desktop option and instantly it comes up. And if we compare how it works compared to my Pixel phone, so if I just switch this off. So I can unplug these. So plug in the USB-C cable. Pretty much does the same thing. So desktop because this is USB-C connected, it also transfers over touch control as well, which is quite cool. And obviously this is going to be a little bit different. Actually, that's very similar to the Raspberry Pi version of Android 16. And the browser. And I've noticed that it's got uh, Windows snapping as well. So if we drag it over, or you've got to drag it over and hold, it will snap into place and drag up to the top full screen. And amazingly, this little Pixel phone can actually power that display. Okay, so great work by everybody involved. Hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.